Hey everyone, Jennifer Spohr here. I am really excited to be here with you today to talk about a topic that is such a hot button for so many people. Um, and that is change, just recognizing when it's time for a change in your business and, and in your life uh, and how to navigate your way forward. So um, I, recently experienced uh, another change in my business that you may or may not be aware of. And um, I wanted to share that with you today. And it's actually what inspired me to cover this topic with you all. And if you are here for the live stream, please be sure to drop a comment and say hello. Um, and if you're watching the replay, say hello as well. I'd, I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to receive your questions and input throughout the conversation today. So several weeks ago, um, I made the decision to make a change in my business to focus on working with high achieving spiritual leaders as as a channel and guide for them to step into their next level to expand uh, in their mission and and their purpose and on their personal spiritual journey Hi, Jamila. Hi. Um, thanks for saying hello. And please let me know if I pronounced your name correctly, too. That's important to me. Um, and so I made the decision to make this change in my business to serve as a channel and guide for high achieving spiritual leaders. And I, I do want to say um, on that note that when I talk about spiritual leaders, that implies that it's someone working directly in the spiritual arena or in the personal development industry. And that is absolutely the case, but there are many uh, conscious leaders out there who are on a spiritual journey, who are leading others forward spiritually um, across many different industries. Oh, hey, Kelly, it's so awesome to see you. I'm doing well, I hope you are too. Uh, so I just wanted to clarify on that and also to say that this is actually work that I've already been doing with my clients for quite some time, but it wasn't front and forward um, in, in my messaging. And so I want to share with you my own experience of how this recent change in my business came about and that hopefully you'll relate. And then I want to share some advice with you for if you're feeling called to make a change, how you can move forward in navigating that. Oh, Jamila, thank you so much for clarifying. I really appreciate that. Hi, hi, Vanessa. It's great to see you. So several weeks ago, toward the end of the year, um, I was not feeling so well physically. And, and I took some time just to kind of slow down in my business and step back and, and reevaluate, you know, how I wanted to navigate my path forward and what I wanted 2022 to really look like. And I asked myself the question, you know, how can I make every aspect of my life, including my business, feel easy and fun. That sounds really simple. But what happened with me for a period of time, and I know what happens with so many leaders and entrepreneurs as well, is that they are purpose driven and they do have conviction in their purpose and in fulfilling their mission here. But there is a lot of noise online and just out in the world in general in terms of, you know, what you should do to be successful in business or what you should be doing to be successful in living your purpose and and fulfilling the mission that you have here. And it's very easy to get caught up in that noise. Right. And um. So what I did was just step back and got honest with myself. You know what? I need to bring this back to being easy and fun. I need to focus primarily on what's bringing me the most joy. And that's what led me to the decision on the change that I made. I'm sharing this with you today because our purpose 
you know, and our mission isn't this one and done destination. You know, once we get clear on what it is and figure it out, then then we're good to go. Um, as humans, we're wired for expansion. And so as such, our purpose and our mission is always evolving. We're always evolving. And so it's important to recognize when it might be time for a change for you in your business and your life. And so I want to share with you some signs to look out for. So when, when you're feeling like you need to make a change, business might start to feel hard for you. There might be aspects of it that may feel daunting and, um, and, and you might be also just starting to feel a lot of resistance. And as a result of, of feeling, you know, sort of stagnant in your space, you may also start to experience a lull in, in you know, receiving sales or, or clients or accomplishing as much in your business as you were before, too, as a result of that. And it might not be something that's obviously off to you and you may not even be able to pinpoint it, but just know if you're not feeling excited and feeling joy about what you're doing um, in your business and in your life on a day to day basis, that's a sure sign um, that that something needs to change. And uh, I want to see if there's anything else I want to cover off with you on that here. So, uh, you may have even tried a lot of different things thinking that that might be the solution to to what's happening with you and how you're feeling right so you might think that you need a different strategy or to be spending time on a different platform um and you might have tried all of those things and they might not be working uh the first place to look when you're feeling like this is to step back and review how aligned you're feeling in your purpose and your mission. Um, because over time, as I said, you know, that purpose and mission evolves, but your beliefs and values may have changed over time as well. So it's really important to, to step back and just check in with yourself. So upon spending that time reflecting, you know, make a note of what your findings are. And meditation is a great gateway to receive clarity around what's off for you and how to move forward. And journaling is also a really tremendously effective tool as well uh, to serve as a vehicle for you to organize your feelings and thoughts and get clear on how you want to move forward. So once you receive that clarity on what's changed for you um, and you're, you're clear in your vision, what you want to do then is create a new roadmap or create a new strategy for yourself moving forward um, that is aligned with that. What happens all too often is that you can get, you know, wrapped up in the day to day busyness of everything, especially in the age that we're living in. And, if you don't carve out the time to make sure your actions are aligned with your vision, then things will continue to feel um, like much more of a struggle moving forward than they need to. So once you've created that new strategy or that new roadmap, then it's really important to make sure that you're having the willingness to start taking different actions. Um, and it seems really simple. And you know what? Actually, it is. Uh, but what happens <laughs> is that wherever your soul is, is guiding you to, whatever your soul is guiding you to expand into, it may feel stretchy for you and it may bring up some fear. And, and you know what, we, even, even the most well-known and respected leaders in the world don't exist and don't operate on a day-to-day -day basis without fear. The difference is that with people that achieve the success they desire, they have a willingness to move through the fear. And that's really how I define courage. So just having the courage to, to move through that and to trust where God and where your soul is guiding you to go um, on this unknown path. 
And that's really the gist of it. If you are honest with yourself about what you want and you create a new roadmap and strategy that is aligned with that, and then you have the willingness to take action, you're going to get the results that you desire for your business and your life. It really is that simple. Um, beyond, you know, my own changes that have occurred recently in my business in the last few weeks, I really wanted to share this with everybody today because this year, 2022, is the year for expansion. It is the year for us to fully step into what our souls are guiding us to do and the purpose that and mission that God has put us here to fulfill during during these amazing times of change that we're experiencing as a collective. And if you're listening to this video right now, whether it's live or whether it's on a replay, chances are you are feeling that. So I also wanted to share with you, if, if you find this helpful today, please let me know and uh, comment with any questions that you have. I also uh, want to share with you if anyone out there is feeling like they need some support around gaining clarity on their path and devising that strategy to move forward and take action. I've actually created a three month container that is customized to this. It's a private container where you would work with me one on one and I would channel for you directly from your soul led businesses blueprint. The clarity in the vision, um, the strategy and step by step the actions. Uh, to take to help bring that to life along with supporting you in the nigglies and the mindset things that come up along the way. So if that's something um, that you're interested in receiving support around, be sure to let me know. Uh, you can comment below in this video or just shoot me a private message um, and we can chat to see if it's a fit for you. So uh, if anyone else has jumped in, please say hello. I've really enjoyed this time with you guys today and I'm really excited for all of us to see how this year unfolds. Happy Thursday everybody. Bye.